How's it everyone? Welcome back to Open Court. I'm Kent and today I'm trying a new string that Babala released recently. I haven't tried a Babala string in quite a bit so I'm excited to try out this new innovative string called the Babala Zalt. Let's check it out. So this new string, the Zalt, Zalt? Salt? I think it's Zalt, but every time I mispronounce something, uh, somebody tells me in the comments below, so you tell me if it's Zalt or Salt or Exalt, I'm pretty sure it's Zalt. But regardless, this is a new uh, nylon multi-filament breed in the Babala lineup, and one set of this costs $21.95, or a whole reel is about $298.95, almost $300, so this is definitely not what I would consider a budget string. It is on the more expensive side because of its new technologies and innovations, which are very interesting. So this Zalt comes in two gauges, the 130 and 125 millimeter. I got the 125 millimeter to try because I like thinner gauges and it comes in a nice pearl white color. So what makes this Babala Zalt unique? Well, it has a polyamide multi-filament core inner center, which is not unique by any means. Polyamide just means nylon. Uh, there are tons of nylon multi-filaments out there. What makes it unique is that the outer layer surrounding the core has glass beads in it, which is supposed to firm up the response and also make it a little bit more durable. I've never seen glass beads of sorts inside strings before, so this is pretty unique. And lastly, the outer coating has a slick silicone coating to facilitate that slide, that snapback, to maintain the spin potential and the tension maintenance. So this is a very interesting new multi-filament. It promises to combine power, comfort, control, spin, and durability all in a multi-filament nylon package, which is pretty hard to accomplish all of those in my opinion. Although the construction is fairly different, this string kind of harkens back to one of my favorite uh, nylon strings ever, which was the Babala Origin. That was a nylon monofilament. This is a multifilament, but when I was stringing it, the outer coating felt very similar, and it's probably going to play a little bit stiffer than traditional multifilaments, which is what I like. All right, so I got the Babala Zalt strung up in my Babala Pure Strike 98 Wimbledon Edition. I try to match up the string with the racket, so if I have a Babala string I'm testing, I usually test it in a Babala racket. And although this is supposed to be a stiffer playing multi-filament, it is still supposed to be comfortable and powerful. And so to get that control, I strung this at 55 in the mains and 53 in the crosses. I usually string around that tension when it comes to softer nylons anyway. All right, so I'm excited to get back on the court. I haven't used this Pure Strike 98 in a while, so I'm excited to hit with this again and to test out this new innovative string from Babala called the Zalt. Let's get on the court. So let's start out with the pros of the Babala Zalt. First of all, my first impressions of the string was that it didn't feel like a multi-filament string at all. I know it's a monocore, but when I was stringing it, it felt soft to the touch, but the coating and firmness felt closer to poly. When I started hitting with it, it was soft but not mushy like Technofiber Biphase or Head Velocity MLT. I actually quite liked the string at the beginning. What I did like about the Zalt was the super easy power and court penetration. My flat serve and my flat backhand were easily my best shots with this string. Usually I like soft strings for these two shots in particular because I'm not great at generating my own power because of my shorter reach, so I appreciate anything that lets me hit passing shots on my backhand. I felt that the Zalt does live up to its billing in the sense that it feels slightly firmer than typical nylon strings, most likely due to the glass beads and monocore construction. I had good control when hitting down the line backhands. Changing directions on hard hit shots is difficult even for seasoned veterans, but the Zalt gave me enough confidence to take that risk. The firmer layup meant the ball dropped just inside the baseline when I hit down the line. Cross court backhands are where I really put my hip rotation into it, and since I was hitting over the lower part of the net, I felt more confident swinging big. I had a much easier time with lateral control than depth control. I played mostly singles with this string and I found if I just slowed down my string a tad and focused more on moving my opponent around the court, I won more points than when I tried to just blast it. The depth control was harder for me to grasp and I'll touch on that in the cons section later. 
My flat serve had easy net clearance and power. For some reason, I had a harder time controlling the direction on my flat serve so I just aimed for the middle of the service box and let loose. This proved to be an effective strategy because flat serves into the body won me a lot of easy points. I also employed my slice flat hybrid serve on occasion and the pace on that serve forced returns that landed short for me to attack. I also really liked the Zult string on volleys. The softer feel made hitting low volleys really easy. All I had to do was position my racket in front of my body and block the ball and the string did the rest. The elasticity gave me decent power and I could push the ball back deep to keep my opponent pinned behind the baseline. Mid to high volleys also had decent power and because I have a smaller swing on volleys than most people, I like more powerful strings at net. Just be sure you're disciplined at net otherwise the ball might fly on you. Although comfort is not high on my list of priorities in choosing a string, I felt the Zalt was very comfortable. I strung it at 55 pounds in my stiffer Babala Project 1-7 Pure Strike and I felt absolutely no jarring sensation in my arm. Unlike other multifilaments, the Zalt isn't made up of hundreds of threads so even after extensive abuse, I didn't notice the typical fraying that is common with nylon based strings. In that sense, this string felt very similar to the Babala Origin. The Zalt will most likely last longer than other multi-strings that unravel and exponentially decline in playability. However, the Zalt did snap on me during my second play session so it is not very durable. It just doesn't experience the same loss of spin and feel that other multis do when they start fraying and the strings are no longer gripping the ball well. As for that feel, the Zalt has more touch than the Velocity MLT but not as much as Prince Lightning Pro. I could still hit slices, drop shots, lobs, and angles fairly easily but the soft feel made the strings feel pretty muted whenever I was redirecting faster shots. Honestly, I could use a bit more response especially at the price tag that Babala charges but it wasn't muted enough for me to put it in the cons. But now let's talk about those cons because unfortunately I was really excited for this string but I feel the cons outweigh the pros for me. So let's get into those cons of the Babala Zalt. The only reason I wouldn't string my racket up with this string for a tournament is because of the lack of spin and control on aggressive full swings. I am a very aggressive player who likes to swing away from the baseline and rush the net whenever I see a chance. Once I got up to the net I felt unbeatable, but setting myself up to rush was the difficult part. Whenever I swung big on my forehand I couldn't control the depth and I sent a lot of shots past the baseline. My misses weren't even close, I was missing by feet not inches. I played a singles match against my good friend John and I was missing so many of my forehands long. I didn't have the confidence to swing aggressively during fast paced rallies where the adrenaline got the better of me. Although Babala says they have constructed the Zalt with a slick outer coating to facilitate spin and snapback, I struggled to generate much topspin on my forehand. I had to constantly straighten strings during my singles match. When I struck the ball on my forehand I could feel the strings displacing. Usually with poly strings though I can feel a bit of bounce when I hit the ball. That means the strings snap back but I didn't feel much of that with the Zalt. I sent so many forehands long that this affected my confidence and I started playing more tentative in my singles match. I was swinging at 50-60% to 60 much of the time. When I swung faster I really had to focus on approaching the ball with more closed racket face to keep the ball low and impart natural topspin. Everyone has their own preference when it comes to strings but most everyone can agree the string that is best suited for them is one that allows them to keep their natural form and not have to change their mechanics. Unfortunately the Zalt made me second guess my forehands and I couldn't trust it on approach shots or aggressive returns. This lack of spin was also very noticeable on my serves. The serves had very little movement. When I asked my singles opponent John about my serve he agreed that he wasn't struggling to return it because it wasn't moving much in the air and wasn't bouncing high or skidding away like usual. My kick serves just sat there for John to swing at or just chip back and neutralize my advantage. Although my slice serve didn't have much sliding action on them, I fared much better at winning points on the slice serve because I had a decent amount of power. In my singles match I got broken more times than I held which is very rare and honestly quite frustrating. And lastly, this string is over $20 and it snapped on me in just the second play session. Although the tension and response didn't change because it doesn't unravel like a typical multi, the Zalt just snapped out of nowhere. It's been a long time since I've broken a string and I can't justify paying $21 for a string that's going to break in just a few hours. If you're not an aggressive player you can get more mileage out of this string but for me, 
I'd rather just pay twice the price for natural gut at this point because gut is not as brittle as most people think as long as you take care of it. So who is the Babala Zalt string for? It's for players who are looking for a slightly firmer feeling nylon based string with the comfort and power of a typical multi. If you're thinking of stepping up to poly one day, the Zalt could be a good stepping stone one step below soft polys in that stiffness ladder. One thing though, I think Zalt would make a very good cross string in a poly syngut hybrid. I think the slicker coating of the Zalt will allow the poly mains to snap back better than other multis that have that stickier feel. If you're curious, give that a try. There are very few Babla strings I actually like and unfortunately this new release by them did little to change my mind. But have you guys tried the Babla Zalt? It's only been out for 2 months so if you've tried it let me know in the comments and let me know if you have recommendations for Babla strings besides VS Gut. Thank you for watching this review of the Babala Zalt string right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.